Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my new series called Zlatan to Glory. Lions, they don't compare themselves with humans. <laughs> and this series kind of continues on top of my previous series, Road to Zlatan. And this is where we ended on Road to Zlatan. It took us two months to get this. And with two months, we didn't do too much, actually. We invested, we traded, and we played a little. That's all we did, and we managed to get this. But today, we're starting the new series, Zlatan to Glory. And of course, we bought Zlatan. I already played 16 games with him. Six games in playoffs, and 10 games in Fat Champs. And in those 16 games, he has 29 goals and eight assists. This is just a new adventure for me. Which is crazy. I'm so happy he performs good for me, because imagine we did a whole series and he plays bad. But that's luckily not the case. He's very good for me so far. But we have some stuff to do. Because first of all, we need to go to the club. We need to go to settings and we need to rename the club. Because it's not called Road to Zlatan anymore, but it's called Zlatan to Glory. There we go. Let's change the name. Are we happy with the club name? Of course we are. It means that we have Zlatan. Of course I'm happy with it. Thank you for reminding me, EA. Thank you for reminding me how happy I am. But then you can also see we have 3000 coins. And that is because we had like 30,000 coins in the last episode of Road to Zlatan. But then he came out. And he's 39,000 coins. So we saw the other one, bought this one, and we already had the first upgrade of our team. But I want to do something different this series because the plan is to keep upgrading this team along the way, right? And at the moment, everyone except for Kim has played for a club that Ira played for as well. But to make it even more interesting and to make pack openings and rewards even more interesting, I did something. What I did is I made all the teams, with exception from LA Galaxy, because there are not many players there and I honestly don't care that much. We made a team of every big club that he played for. From his time with Ajax till AC Milan right now and everything in between. And every time we pack a player that played or plays for one of those teams, we can add them to the collection. And at some point, if we have a full team, we can even play with it. Because if we, for example, look at AC Milan, we are getting close to a full team. And of course, I can fill it up with golds. And then we can take some players that, for example, Dest played there. And do we have a goalie? Well, we also have a goalie. So in theory, we have a full team now. And then we can slowly start to upgrade those teams as well. And then at some point, and we have to figure out when, we can play with it as well. We can maybe play even a FUD champs with it if we want to. But we also have this team and this is the main team. So if we pack, for example, this weekend league, if we get a red pick Haaland, then I got to change formation probably and I got to play with him, even though he never played together with him for a club or never played for a club that he played for. It would be a waste to not play with it at all. I don't want very good cards to go to waste too much. But I want to switch it up in the way that we can just switch teams sometime. And of course, during this FUD Champs, there are some players that we want. We want a Rashford, we want a Casemiro, and we want Varane. I think those are the only three that we really want that played for Man United. Which means we can add them to this team. That would be really sick if we could do that. And that is the plan of the series to have a main team and to have other teams around it from the teams that he played for, past and present. But this is the team we're currently playing FUD Champs with and we currently have 10 games played. We won eight and we lost two, so, so far, very nice result. I am soon gonna finish the games, but first we have to open some packs because we have a lot of packs saved. And what I'm gonna do is we're finally gonna open these packs, the ones that we saved for quite a while now. Tradable small rare bronze player packs. You're joking. And the reason we saved them to wait for a moment when they were worth opening. And currently the bronze rare prizes are not up at all. But there are two team of the seasons that are right now in packs that are actually original bronze cards, which means you can pack them in here. So let's see if we by any chance can get one. And there might be a few players that are worth something at the moment, but so far I'm just gonna send everything to the club. And the last one, we actually didn't get anything. 
Well, we got a lot of bronze players that we were able to send to the club. Because we barely had duplicates. We only had like 15 duplicates maybe out of all of those. So that's not bad at all. But as you can see, we finally opened them and we still have 50 packs. There are a lot of bad packs as well. And there are some that we are still going to save. But there are also those premium bronze player packs. That we will open eventually. But for now, I'll just keep them here. We're going to do the upgrades next episode. But what we also have is a Premier League Team of the Season player. I'm going to tease you a little bit with it. Because we're first going to open the other packs. And then at the end of all these packs, we're going to open the guaranteed Premier League Team of the Season player. Because we got the 10 wins in the Premier League Cup. In the One League Cup. And hopefully it was worth it. We got a man of the match, but it's untradeable, I'm pretty sure. It is, so then it's just an 83 rated. Then it's just an 83 rated. Too bad. If you have tradable packs right now, those man of the matches are very nice. Also with bronze pack method, having silver packs tradable, gold packs. You can get them and they're worth like 10k at least. Would have been nice. Oh, we got a team of the season. French? Sandwick? No! No! That's still very good! This is from the Daily SBC. I thought it was Varane. Oh my god, I thought it was Varane. That's still very good. <laughs> it's an 81 double, but I thought it was Varane. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> well, he didn't play for any team that Ibra played for, so we cannot use him in those teams. And for now, he's not going to make the main team. Maybe we pack something else and then he will fit because he is a very good center back. But wow, what a start. <laughs> that was like the fifth pack I opened or something. A board afterwards. Vinicius, 86 rated, nice. Again, the 81 double, it keeps giving out for me. It's really good. Let me know in the comments if the 81 plus from the daily SBC... The daily login SBC. Is that one also good for you? Let me know. And another board from it. A double Spanish. Love it. Then we have an 83 double. It's a walkout. German goalie be a good one. It's always trap. It's still a walkout. I'll take that. Then we have the Premier League Prime Player Pack. Too bad. You just know that if there's a team of the season there, that it's a Premier League one. But sadly, that didn't happen. And then we have a 2 times 84 plus. It's a walkout. It's Spanish. It's a Rotary. It's an 84 plus. So an 87 is not bad. And also an 86. And we have them both on tradable. So let's trade them into something. Let's trade them in into the 81 times 11 Premier League upgrade. That's the 85 rated squad done. We get a small gold player pack from it. Tradable. It is a board. That's all right. It's tradable 84. Then we have an 85 plus. Can we get another team of the season? No, we cannot. It is the lift. 85. I don't know if there's a good pack behind this. So just to be sure, I will open three bronze packs. And we actually still had the playoff rewards behind this. So let's open them. Well, the first one's bad. We could use something tradable. We have 3000 coins. Give us something nice. That is something nice. That's like 14,000 coins probably. I think that's the quick sell value. It's 10,000. That's still very nice. So we will discard that one because it doesn't sell. Shadows are quite expensive as well. They're like 4,500. Let's do 44. That's a good pack for us. And the last pack. Come on. It's a board. 84 but another shadow but now it's time for the guaranteed premier league team of the season player which one will we get come on not sinchenko together with ramsdale he's the worst one that's too bad 
Good fodder, I guess. But the main reason why he's bad is because he has high acceleration but low sprint speed. So he's actually not as fast as it shows there. Plus, he doesn't fit in any team unless we link him up with Saliba. But we're first gonna finish FUD Champs and see what we get from that. But to end it off, let's finish the 81 times 11. There we go. We cannot afford it to buy players, so we traded in two 85s in it. Probably not worth it. We also had to pack from the daily login and that is an 84. So again, it's giving out. And there we go. Before we go into FUD Champs, we open this pack. Can it be a team of the season? It can. And it is. Portugal center back. No, it's Ruben Diaz. That's the best center back in the game. I was not able to get past him at all this weekend league. Oh my god. I guess we gotta switch up our main team already. Because now we got two center backs from the Premier League. And he's so high rated. Let's see what else is behind this. That's actually a very good pack. Some good fodder as well. Oh my god. Now we just need some good rewards during FUD champs. And then we can have some good link ups. And, and switch over a little bit towards Premier League, I guess. On the other hand, I don't want to because our team plays that good. But we gotta play him. He's so good. But yeah, because there's no way to fit him in right now. And this team plays amazing so far. I'm gonna finish FUD champs with this team. I am gonna bring him as a super sub though. Because that is better than Marquinhos. And let's see how the last 10 games of FUD champs go. He's gonna leave a no no. Of course they're gonna leave a no no. Why? Just give it away. Be nice. Excuse me? Am I gonna bottle this really hard and I'm only gonna get 11? Am I gonna get 14? Or well, same as last week, am I gonna get 16? Which I doubt, but you never know. How does that work then? We're gonna score this one. Can we score with Ibra right away here? Of course we can. <laughs> Gordon is our OP. And, and Zlatan is OP. So obviously we can score. That's offside probably. Or not. If not, then Zlatan scores because he doesn't miss. Let's go. What a comeback. There we go. I kind of wanted to pass it to Ibra, but we don't want to stat pad him. We just want to play and see how well he does. Look at Ibra run. He's so fast. And he doesn't miss. <laughs> this is the second lucky goal he scored, so he's definitely not going to leave. Oh, banger. And nice pass by Zlatan as well. What a banger by Son. I wouldn't mind getting him as a team of the season either. Because this inform, this red pick inform is already great. I forgot to record the first half. But if I lose this game, I cannot go 16-4 and four anymore. Because we're currently 11-4. and four, And I completely forgot to record it. But we're losing 3-2. If we want to get the 60 wins, we gotta win this. And otherwise, either we stay at 11 to have some tradable packs or we can still go for 14 to have the untradable team of the season pack but that means we only get one tradable 100k pack rather than a 100k pack and an ultimate pack or like a 50k and an ultimate pack but let's first try to win it's Ibra he doesn't miss and he's fast let's go he doesn't have any shot power there gotta switch it up let someone else... Oh my god, imagine that went in. I should have scored that. Oh no, this is not good. 
Nah, come on! That's not good. Nice. Let's go! Come on! Time for some subs now. Why do I step in there? That's not good. That's good. That's good. Now we can just hit it to Ibra. He's gonna win this header. Not against Van Dijk though. And I stepped in again. No! What a save! We gotta win this one if we still want to have a chance on 16 wins. Otherwise it's over. We got so lucky there. One more corner. Come on. He was coming out with his goalie, I think, before. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the pie. I'm going to do it like this. But we score with Ibra. Let's go. Let's go. We punish it. Ibra, let's go. Zlatan to glory. Zlatan is glory. Let's go. What a team. Is he going to leave a no-no? I don't know if he was going to leave a nil-nil, but we scored. And he left. Let's go. I think he wanted to leave a nil-nil. Okay, we're not getting a free win. Sad. We got to work for the 16 wins, which is fine. He has Kane, so we're going to lose. It's going to be very hard. I red timed it, it's fine. <laughs> I can score it with a red time. It's all good. I don't even think I have Ibra as a captain. I'm a noob. That's toxic. Leaving at 1 1 in the 24th minute. That is toxic. Maybe if we score quick, he leaves. Not offside. Let's go. What a pass by Leao. And what a perfect run by Ibra. Come on. Oh no. What am I doing? Fake him. Fake him. Nah. Good pass. There we go. Gotta play a little bit sweaty if you want to get those 16 wins. Okay, reaction time of all my players there was super slow. Let's side, hopefully. No? Come on, man. I was so sure that was offside, though. Is he gonna sub or is he also gonna leave if he doesn't score this one? No! The goalie should have had that. He held in for a second. Come on, Ibra. Come on. Let's go, Ibra. He doesn't miss. He just bullied himself through that defense. Come on. Let's go, Ibra. Come on. This is really a Zlatan to glory. He does everything. How did that happen then? Oh no. Huh? That doesn't make any sense. First of all, everything felt super slow. 
Second of all, why did my goalie dive there? 14 wins. No tradable stuff. Well, one 100k pack. But not many people from the Premier League played or team. Or Ibra played. So hopefully we can just get Rashford. That's all we need. I still have a rise there that we can trade in. But okay. Let's go. We start off with an 88. That's very nice. 85. That, that's not good. 87. That's all right. They could have been better. They could have been much better. But these are the important things. We're going to do it like this. We're going to stat reveal them. So this is the first one. Let's see. Who we get in. That's Diaz. No, it's not. It's Casemiro. Nice. That's a good one. I'm happy with one. I know he's cheap, but for our Manchester United team, he's one of the best CDMs in the game. I'm happy with him already. The other two of the pick, if they're bad, I don't even mind. Let's go. Second one. Ninety-one dribbling, that's not too good. Ninety-four passing, eighty-seven shooting. Um Odegaard? I think this is Odegaard, right? It is. I will definitely pick Casemiro over him. And the last one of this first player pick. 99 stamina. 94 dribbling. 96. That's Saka. This is Saka. Oh, that's sick. We do have a problem here, though. Because Saka is the best one. He is very good, but he did not play for a team where Ibra played for. So shall we go for Casemiro or not? Or do you think we will get Casemiro in the next pick? Ooh. I, I should pick Saka here. He is the best one. And we do have Saliba, so we can actually swap it a little bit around because Brahim I don't really like too much. We are going for Saka here. Time for the next one. Come on. The second player pick. The second player pick. Come on. Can we get a good one? A real good one. 72. 70. 91. We know who that is. That's Odegaard. Because we had him before as well. Next one. Good morning, sunshine. Ramsdale. Oh no, this is a bad pick, isn't it? Because I feel like if it's a good pick, then all three or at least two of them are really good. If you really get a high-end player. But this is probably a bad one. Come on. 92 physical. This is Kane. Yep, this is Kane. We will go for Kane, of course. I play with one striker, so we have Zlatan to glory. So obviously we're going to play Zlatan. But that's a very nice choice. Two very good picks. I'm happy with them. I'm really happy with them. And time for the packs. I want something tradable though. We need something tradable. We only have 70,000 coins. I think we first have a, a preview pack. Not even a board. If there's a shadow in it, we're buying it. Only a position modifier. Never mind. Okay. First, the tradable pack. Can we get something good? Let's see. Not even a board out of a 100k pack. They really should put a minimum rating on that. So you get 14 wins. And your best tradable player is 82 rated. I love you. They must have messed up the rewards, right? Like, how do you only get one 100k pack tradable with 14 wins? Well, with 11 wins, you get a 50k pack and an ultimate pack. It doesn't make sense. It is time for the Premier League team of the season. Three player pack. They're untradable. And what we're going to do, we're going to do the stat review again. So we're going to open it. We're going to go to the end of the pack. I'm going to stat review it. Let's see what we get. Obviously, going to skip this. We don't want to see. We go to the last player. We're now at the last player. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Give me something good. 
Give me something good. There we go. The worst one out of the pack. Unless it's a duplicate. It could still be like a Diaz or Saliba duplicate. But we will see. 87 physical. 88 defending. 89 dribbling. That's very all round. Who is that all round? Gramares. It's Gramares, right? It must be. No, it's James. James is actually good. He's actually very good. Okay, next one. 72. It, that's Odegaard. It must be. Yep, Odegaard. Again. As always. <laughs> He's in every pack. He is in every pack. And now the best one. So, the 14 wins could have been really bad. Let's see. 81 physical. 87 defending. We got both right backs and a cam with 3 star weak foot. This is not worth 14 wins. We got an 82 rated tradable as best. Then we got these. Only Ramsdale would have been worse. And Zinchenko. Those are the only two that would have been worse than this. The player picks, the red picks were good though. But you get those picks as well with 11 wins. So there's no difference there. So the only difference is that I got less tradable players. That's what it is. That's sad. And we will end on a few more packs that we have. With the big one being the 83 times 15. Can we still get one more good thing? Actually, the 15 times 83 plus is the only thing that is worth mentioning. The other two packs were really bad. Let's just open it. Let's see. Is it a team of the season? It's not even a team of the season. It's only an 87. That is bad. An 87 and an 86. Then some 84s. And the rest is all 83. Did you guys open this one already? And what did you get? Is it really that bad? I expected more from this. I actually expected at least one team of the season even if it's a bad one that's kind of disappointing but well that's gonna be it for the first episode of zlatan to glory he did really help us to glory even though we just couldn't reach the 60 wins but he scored a lot of goals and if you want someone like ibrahimovic who is also a similar player who can do the same as ibrahimovic but with less skills then maybe harry kane is the player for you i did a player review on him and you can check that out right here